What's up, Godzilla fans? Ta-da! It's me again. So, uh, something that I kind of forgot to do was in my original collection video when I showed you all my, you know, all my great figures, I forgot to show you the stuff that I have on my kind of Island of Misfit Toys shelf. So, okay. I'll go ahead and get my camera off this tripod here, and let's go see some cool figures. Come on. Or some Island of Misfit Toys figures. So here on my other shelf, we got to start off with Bandai Creations Godzilla. I have both versions of the actual Bandai 68 Godzilla, so I don't need this one anymore on the official shelf. The original Bandai Creation Godzilla 54, I just don't like him that much to keep him on my actual shelf. This is the Aurora Kit Rodan. When I was a kid, I dunked him in a bucket of paint, just brown paint, and I colored his eyes red. Here is the Aurora Godzilla kit. I painted that when I was a kid, and I like to keep them that way because it's just cool like that. Marmot Para Babies Godzilla 65, Marmot Para Babies Godzilla 62, 72, and Marmot Para Babies Gigan 72. The reason these are 72, they came in a set together. And you can see this one's green, this one's green with some shading on it. I had these when I was a kid, so I painted them. You know, I had to be accurate with these things. So, uh, it's just crappy model paint. It's been rubbing off over the years. It doesn't take much to scrape it off. Hot water and a sponge would probably get it off pretty well. I didn't paint the guy again, but he is kind of a little bit worn. So if anybody wants to buy any of, any of these things that I'm showing you on my shelf, I'll sell it to you for cheap. Except for one thing, and I'll get to him soon. Or a few things. So here's the Rodan, the Mar Power Babies Rodan. Only deal with him, there is a hole in the wing that I tried to seal with glue because I thought, you know, super glue equals sealant and it'll look like it did when I bought it. Didn't work like that. Here's the 10 inch Imperial Godzilla. The like 4 inch Imperial Godzilla missing a tail. Backing up, here is a tiny Mega Neuron from the original Rodan movie, 1956. He was a little bottle cap topper. You can see Bart Simpson in a Godzilla suit. There is the original Mysterians Mogira. It was another bottle cap topper. Back here we got Zilla or Gino or Godzilla versus Matthew Broderick's Godzilla, whichever you want to call it. Um, I painted the. It was a little tiny kit. It. It. I painted the silver on the spines with a sharpie. Here is a tiny Godzilla, you know, from Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. He was a freebie. I was so happy to get him. I'd never gotten a freebie before with any of my stuff. All right, this is something that I'm actually proud of. My friend posed my plush jet jaguar in a very effeminate manner. So this is gay jet jaguar. <sighs> Yeah, I have a very funny looking Jet Jaguar that my friend posed like that. I just thought it was hilarious, and so did he. There's my G-Fest tag from last year's 2010 G-Fest, my first G-Fest. Moving down, here's the YMSF, the first YMSF Megalon. I did the same like I always do when I was a kid. I paint it to try to make it more movie accurate. I rub some of it off. It just scrapes off pretty easy. You could probably use nail polish remover to get the rest off. But the back was unpainted for some reason. That bothered me terribly. So I tried to paint it. Alright, here's a bunch of Crumble Zone stuff. The Crumble Zone buildings. There's a tiny jet you can see right there. Here's the Mothra Larva, the Godzilla, and a British tour bus. Don't know why they did a British tour bus, because he was never in Britain. So there's GMK, Godzilla, and Mothra Larva. I lost the Mothra Adult, King Ghidorah, and Baragon. Disappointing, I know. Here's another one of those freebie things. Well, this wasn't a freebie, but it's made by the same company made, that made that freebie. I don't know what it is, if it's like a little off-brand Bandai thing, but it's just a tiny destroyer. Cool. You're probably noticing this. This is the ship from Godzilla vs. Monster Zero or Invasion of the Astro Monsters. This was Marmot Para Babies also. I'm going to put this on my official shelf when I'm done with this video because that is just cool. I don't know why I put it over here on the Island of Misfit Toys. That's a tiny Alien X from Invasion of the Astro Monsters. Just a tiny kit I have yet to put together. 
There's a tiny tank and an oil drum for no apparent reason. Here is Rodan from Trend Masters. Oh, never mind. Look at this right here. We got King Kong. McFarlane, King Kong. You know, he just busted out of his chains and he has his shackles and everything. That is tiny little doll Mothra, lar or Mothra twin set. They came with my Tokyo SOS Bandai Toys Dream projects. Uh, anyway, Trend Masters Rodan. Trend Masters Godzilla. There's a button on the chest. Doesn't work. Out of batteries. Here's tiny fetal position Godzilla. Put him in an egg. There is Trend Masters Space Godzilla. Push his button on his chest. He roars. Out of batteries. And God, uh, my dog chewed on the tail or the foot, and he's missing two toes. All right, Trend Masters power up uh, Mecha King Ghidorah. He has a bunch of rocket launchers and stuff on him. Here is Bendable Godzilla from Trend Masters. Tiny Mothra, 4 inch scale I guess. I keep this because, oh yeah, most of the Trend Master stuff I will not sell you because it's childhood memory stuff. Same with the Plush Jet Jaguar, the Imperial Godzillas, the Mothra Twins. I'll let you know what I won't sell, but if you want to hit me up with a request on something, I'll sell it to you for pretty cheap. So yeah, memory. My mom bribed me with a hair with a Godzilla figure if I would get my hair cut when I was a kid. She bought me the 10 inch one of these, but I don't have it, so this still keeps the memory alive. Oh yeah, back there, tiny Gigan. Here is a little Godzilla, or a, I don't know what I was trying to say. Here's a Godzilla missing the tip of its tail. Has a little red button on his chest. You push it, he roars, doesn't have batteries, just like all the others. Here is, whoops, tipped you over. Tiny Godzilla and Tiny King Ghidorah, they came in a little battle zone set. It was a head that you would open up, and it would hinge at the jaw, open up all the way. And there was a tiny city inside, and you could play with all the little uh, Godzilla toys. You know, there was a Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. There's Ghidorah. There was one versus Rodan. I actually have the Rodan. It's on my keychain, because it has a little hole in its back for it to slide down a string. Okay. Moving along, here's my boxes for my stuff collection. SH Monster Arts Godzilla. Bandai Gotengo from Final Wars. There's a DVD collection box. It came with like five DVDs. Here's the original Bandai Mothra 64. Bandai 1992 Mothra box. The Toys Dream Project Tokyo SOS box with the two Mothra twins right there in the corner, as you can see. I showed you them earlier up there. Put the boxes back one by one. Here on this bottom shelf, if I could get it out, they're slightly wedged in there. Here is my uh, GD56 Bandai Soul of Chogokin Mecha Godzilla 1974, one of my prize possession figures. Here's the Falcon kit, Abera from Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. I actually sent this thing away to get painted. And here is my Falcon kit, Godzilla 1992. I don't know if it was supposed to come with the Batra and the Mothra larva. Mine didn't, but I could care less. I have the Godzilla, and that's good enough for me. As you can see here, here's the Ban Presto Godzilla Final Wars. Sorry, I'm trying to put these boxes back one by one. Okay, so moving that out of the way, you can see there's the Bandai Kit King Ghidra box. I have two of them because I have two of that model kit. There's another one behind it there. The other one had a malfunction, like a product malfunction. Part of the figure was missing, so it's still in its box. Okay, right here, if I can pick it up gently. Here is the Marmot Kit Kaiju header card. That one was the Gigan. If you can read Japanese, you can see that says Gigan. And here's the officially licensed picture that came with it. So it says Kaiju and then Gigan. And here's the instructions in Japanese I cannot read. Gigabrain. This was either for my Jet Jaguar or my Gigan 1973, because those are the only two Gigabrain figures I have. Here is a Tempting Toys header card. You can see Tempting Toys. I'm not sure which figure I got with that. It might have been my YMSF Varon or Varon. 
Here's the CCP header card. You can see in very tiny print right there. Or maybe you can see it, but it says CCP right there. That's my Godzilla with Mothra larva on tail. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate that still. And here is my wide collection of Marmot Monster Heaven header cards. I have a ton of them, as you can see. And the strings you see attached, I have tagged all these with the names of the figures. I went through them one by one, reading the, you know, the little name right there on the back of the card in the square. That's the name of the monster in Japanese. I went through every one of my Marmot figures one by one, and I looked at the bottom of the foot and I matched it up with the Japanese lettering on the back of this card. So, long process, but I got it done. Moving along. Marmot Kit Godzilla 1966 box. You know, there's the 54 Godzilla, but that's the artwork that comes with all the Marmot Kit boxes when you buy it as a kit. Here's just a little wide variety of a ton of cards. It's, I've had these for years. It's a whole lot of uh, Godzilla monster cards, trading cards. Toys Dream Project Godzilla vs. Titanosaurus um, box. So there's that. If I can put the boxes back one by one. And here's something that I'm going to show off too. This is just a trading card booklet. I will set it right here for right now. Or it will not stay by itself. There we go. Trading card booklet. Inside of it I have dropped two things, but I'll pick those back up. Just about every card that I have that I've gotten with my Godzilla figures. So you flip through it and all these original cards, these are the Bandai uh, Memorial Box 50th anniversary memorial box cards. Truly pissed when I sold the God's, the translucent orange Godzilla 1995 Godzilla that was in the set. The guy wouldn't buy it unless I sold him the card too, so I'm missing the card. That's the only one I'm missing. If anybody is gener generous enough to give me or sell me that, I'd really love you to death. That'd be awesome. The rest of these are just movie monster series tags for other stuff. And what I said before, what I dropped, let me get back to that, if I can put that there for a second. I dropped the two cards that came with the Toys Dream Project Tokyo SOS uh, box set. So those are the two cards, and they're in, they came with the plastic covers, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. I'll put that back when I'm done with this video. All right, here's my wide variety of... Uh, X plus boxes, except for that one, that's an ornament box, but all these are X plus boxes, scanning all the way down until you get to the Hedora, or Hedera, I think it's Hedora, the Hedora box, that's the biggest box I have, oh, wait, nope, here's the Bandai Godzilla 50th Anniversary Memorial box, box, so, and then finally, here is the here are the wings, still in perfect condition, except for a very minute crack on one of the tabs. Can't really see it unless you look. But there's the wings, and here's the upside-down box. I'll flip that right side up eventually, but there's the box for the Fragile Wing Ghidorah. And that's my, that's basically my official collection. Well, one more thing that i got to show you. Here's one of my pride and joys. This is my lizard G-Man, and over there in the corner is my Marmot Par Baby's Jet Jaguar to keep him company. So, yep, I get you can probably guess why he's called G-Man. Oh, big secret there. So, this is a bearded dragon lizard. He's an Australian, you know, he's an Australian lizard. So, okay, just wanted to show you that little guy right there. Now, here's these things again. Focus. Okay, so that's my Island of Misfit Toys, my boxes, 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 boxes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's just the other half of my collection that's not a part of my official collection. And alright, that's all she wrote, so I hope you enjoyed it. Sayonara.